Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest, and on this episode, I've got a customer that wants a dash cam installed. So I've gone ahead and got a hold of this Ombar three-way dash cam. This thing shoots in 4K. It's got a backup, forward, and inside facing camera. Uh, this is definitely the nicest dash cam I've ever had my hands on. I've even got a few myself. There's a ton of cool things about this that I want to go over while I'm installing it. That's what this video is going to be about, installing this dash cam. We'll drive around with it at the end and see what it looks like. This is 12 volt USB powered, so you can plug it into the cigarette lighter. Should have everything it needs inside of it that we'll need to install. So if you're thinking about getting a dash cam, this will be a great video to help you see not only if you want a dash cam, but how to install it if you do. And check out the links in the description, the pinned comment. I reached out to Ombar and they've given my channel a special discount. So you can get one at a super great deal. Well, my customer's almost here. Let's hop out of the truck and unbox this. All right, so my customer just got here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. Let's see what's inside. All right, so here's the cameras. This is a nice front camera. This one's really cool because it has a screen on the back so you can see what it's recording. But not only that, it has a magnetic mount. So it's easy to mount and unmount. I don't have any other ones like that. Okay, so here's the rear camera with its cable. So here's the front facing camera out the front that shoots in 4K. And then if you want three channels, you can attach this inside facing camera. And that just hooks up through USB-C. And one of the coolest things about this inside facing camera is it has six built-in infrared lights. So at nighttime, it'll even see in the dark. All right, so here's everything we need. We've got the rear camera, the inside facing with infrared camera, the 4K front camera with its screen and the power cable. I've got a little trim tool that came with this. That's all we should need to tuck the wires. Let's go ahead and get this installed. It should be pretty easy. Okay, so we've got an electrostatic film we're gonna put down first. But what you wanna do is when you're sitting in the driver's seat, you wanna place the dash cam in a place where it's already obscured by maybe the rear view camera or where it's completely out of view. So somewhere like right here or right here is a good place for this. We wanna make sure it doesn't interfere with being able to adjust the rear view mirror. So you can also go up here as a good option, better in front of the passenger than the driver so it's not obscuring your view. All right, I'm gonna make sure I figure out this mount before I stick it on there. We've gone ahead and chosen just right about here. The screen's gonna be out of view, but I have no need to watch that screen while you're driving or anything. If you have a passenger that wants to watch it, they'll be able to kind of see it from their point of view anyway. So, first things first, let's clean the glass and then install this. All right, so we've just gone ahead and cleaned and wiped off the windshield so it's completely dry. Now I've got to stick this on. Okay, nice 4K camera. That's how easy it is to install. That's it. All right, so we're gonna install this inside facing camera. We already discussed that it's just gonna be viewing the passenger and people in the back. That's totally okay with the customer. So if you're gonna install the inside facing one, you just take that out. And install it like that. Oh, nice. And then you can adjust this to your horizon. Uh, once we get that installed and hooked up to a phone, honestly, we'll be able to see here, but we're gonna make sure it all works. We'll get that horizon adjusted. Okay, so we've got the rear facing camera here. There's a couple of things we took into account when we thought about installing this one, I had the customer sit in the driver's seat and choose a spot where it wasn't kind of in their way when they're looking out their back windshield. We decided that it would be best to put it down low because the headrests in the back already block that part of the windshield. So we're gonna go ahead and if you can see the line right here, this is where the windshield wiper hits. I'm gonna put this just inside of where the windshield wiper reaches. That way, that way this side is at least always a little bit cleaner than it would be if it were out there.
get it between those uh, black lines there. And then we'll go ahead, I'm gonna have to bring, oh, I've got it here. We'll go ahead and connect this wire and get it tucked all the way through the vehicle. I'm expecting that to take about 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, we're using these clips now to go ahead and run this wire tightly around here so that when the customer closes their rear door and they're driving, the spare wire isn't looped on the inside of the vehicle like it might if we just ran the wire straight there. This, would, this loop would come inwards. And now we can go right over the weather stripping underneath the headliner here and down the trim all the way to the front. I think it might be easier to hide any extra spare wire in the back here. When I'm done, there's probably more room back here. So I think I'm gonna start tucking the wire up front and bring all the slack back to here because I'll be able to tuck the slack into this. Looks like there's about a half an inch gap right here. Um, and I know up front there's probably not that big of a gap. So let's start up there. Alright, that's usually the hardest part is that front windshield. I've tried to tuck a whole wire up the front windshield before on my Ranger. Oh, that was a disaster. Just took forever and you end up in the headliner so much. It doesn't hold its shape, so just do it in the back. Okay, so we've made our way to the back. Like I said, it's a lot easier doing all this stuff than it is that front one. So that took just a second. I was looking, we don't have any airbags inside either this pillar or that one. Uh, it looks like there's probably a lot of room. I'm not gonna... Just to prove it. Down there. All right, so come look right here. You can see how much room we have inside there. So I'm just gonna do a nice neat tuck. And since I've got it popped, you can see our windshield wiper line right here. Um, since I've got this unpopped, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a couple wire ties to hold all these wires together so they don't jingle jangle around in there. Like that, trim them off and we're good to go. This is pretty much over now. Get some cool footage of this driving and show you how HD this is. That's how you install it. Let's go ahead, like I said, get some of that good footage. Nice. All right, there's us on the front screen. There's the back. That needs to be tilted down a little bit. The app works great and that's super easy to use also. And this camera is definitely the highest quality dash cam I've ever seen. I can't believe this thing is shooting 4K out the front. This thing will have you backed up if anything ever happens. And I mean backed up literally. Check out the backup camera. This thing's always filming and it'll film whatever happens behind you as well. Again, this is an HD quality. And last but not least, check out the inside facing camera, especially at nighttime with its infrared lights. All right, so here you can see at nighttime, the infrared lights work perfectly. I'm super impressed with this on bar dash cam. I think this was the best choice for my customer. Look how good it looks. It's gonna shoot in 4K and honestly, Utah is a sketchy place to drive. So it's gonna be nice that they have themselves recorded all the time now. If you want one of these, make sure you check out the link in the description in the pinned comment for an extra special deal. If you like this video, make sure you check out the next one right up here. I'll see you there. That's a job well done.